Yeah. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. It's happening today. Montfort is here. Where are my level 3 heroes? What is this garbage? And Photomania seems like maybe it's okay, but in general, I'm not so excited about her. Retrieve your fallen... No. Slay the boss. Clear a path to the boss. Clear a path to the boss. I don't know what the skull thing and the number means. At first, I was thinking that it affected how difficult these were, but that seems to be going off the level of my heroes more than anything else. Kill one hag. Intriguing. We can go on a short. I don't think we should be going on short dungeons. They just don't give us very much. Thank you, everybody, at once for telling me what's going on. I appreciate that. I feel in good hands. Here's a medium veteran that gives me a sun cloak. Sun cloak good. What is my best? No, not really. Remember right, Blight is pretty good in the cove. So I could put together some sort of League Doctor. Something else, something else, something else, team. Something like one. I want to get rid of weak grip on life though. And I want to get rid of nocturnal. Whatever. Three. go double plate no no probably not <laughs> seems like a bad idea oh this guy's meant to be good here seems like this team something like this team this team looks good to me all this stuff is okay except maybe slow draw uh, we can slip out the man at arms slip out the man at arms back to the sanitarium okay so I'm 
basically looking at people who I'm leveling up and trying to make sure that we have no bad stuff on them. Level. I don't really think I care about Irrepressible. Do I actually care about Covephobe? Probably a little bit. Does this guy need stuff? Weak Grip on Life has to go. It's fine. This is what I was trying to click on. Ooh, did anybody need a move stan? Apparently the answer is no. Nobody has been needing any move stans at all. Let's reduce training costs. But their knowledge lives on. Again. And you're going to be in charge of lighting things. Stunning things. And I think also battlefield medicine on this one. Thank you, Death of Angels. Move stones were uh, right at the top of my list. Right next to that other worthless thing that I don't need. Forget its name. Equip trinkets. Guys, yeah, super dodgy for some reason. I don't really know what that reason is. Wait, you can wear two cloaks. Not sure that would actually help. Uh, I don't really know exactly what my occultist is doing. Plus 15% damage and. Extra speed. More damage. More damage. He has plus 40% damage. All right. And my Plague Doctor just disappeared. My Plague Doctor is lighting things and having more speed, ideally. Lighting things very quickly. Hey! Looks like a reasonable team to me. We're going to the cove. I haven't gone to the cove very much. Bring a little bit of extra food. The cove needs lots of shovels, anti venom. Needs lots of shovels. Okay. 
have no Vestal. Camping might be a little bit weird. I'm not going to bother looking there. All right. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. You don't need an anti-venom. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I don't. Okay. Explore 90% of rooms. I'm going to be overly complete. Are we in the right order? Do we have the right abilities selected? Probably, because I never flipped off, right? I did not have the right abilities selected. Alright. Oh, it's a pedophile monster. Fancy meeting you here. Does he always get surprised? I was wondering if I should just stay in the front rank there because uh, going back rank right now doesn't really do anything for me. I'm just dealing less damage than I would have otherwise, basically. I actually have a 44% stun chance. Unlucky. Man at arms, Vestal, and a Highwayman. The Highwayman's the only one we really care about, right? But I don't have a great way to do anything to him here. Let's make these fellows bleed or not. Will you? Probably not. Holy shit. My cultist deals so much damage with his dagger. Pedophile monster just mark my guy. Also, that was really painful. Uh okay. Stun you please. Kill yourself or something. Fine. That is also fine.
Um. Can leave the healer and tank alive, and they can never hurt you and won't summon reinforcements or stress at the end. Oh. That does sound like a pretty good idea. It also sounds sort of abusive, though. Okay, I'm all right with that at the moment. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh, he's just gonna die anyway. And it doesn't matter because I called this. Alright. Pedophile monster has made me a rich man. Thank you, pedophile monster. This gives me quite a lot of stuff actually. If I give it medicine. It's feeling ill. I think that if we go here and then go back here. A handsome reward. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think it might work better. It creates the possibility of me hitting another corridor fight, and I think that it gives me less stress than walking backwards does. But I might be wrong. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. What baubles? I'm not sure I've ever heard the word bauble other than when paired with trinket. I think walking through explored corridors gives stress and full light. I think walking backwards does though. Or something like that. My understanding is that walking backwards is pretty bad. The slow death that seemed like an okay first round to me. Cestus. I like his little like curvy sharp thing. That's what I'm gonna call that. I'm sure there's a an actual name for it. Curvy sharp thing. No, it looks like a sweet weapon. It also looks like it would be very difficult to like, I don't understand why you would just use a sword. Looks like it's slice a lot using it. Maybe that's his thing. Maybe that's his thing. 
What don't I need? Anti-venom? Is that what I was told? Yeah. A sickle. Whoa! No, this is a sickle. The other guy, this like guy had a like a a fist thing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a fist thing, you know. I'm gonna roll like this. Be a good feeling about it. Clarity is I'm sort of deliberately avoiding uh, really abusing that sort of stuff because I don't think that it's intended for it to be doable. I probably don't want to risk the red plague. It sounds not great. Is it intended though, really? It seems like a very bad mechanic, just quietly. This is Eldritch and Unholy. Eradicated. Crazy talk. Decimated. I think my favorite thing in this game is critting for 40, 50, 60 damage with Finale. It's the small things. On the other hand, I really dislike getting scouting pings that show me one room. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Whoa, did you guys see that? When I ate food, it stacked my torches better for me. That was crazy. Struck. A blazing star is born. All right, walking simulator. Another, Another misfortune. Shoop do 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 do. Hey, something to do. That's novel. This is the mediocre curio that I had anti venom for. And. It can buff me to have a resist against disease, or it can just give me a disease. Let's 
strictly incorrect to refresh your torch before opening a curio. Um, it doesn't do anything unless you're like below 25 there, right? Pretty sure it's exactly the same at 99 and 74. Which is actually exactly... Exactly why strictly better requires that things... Wait, what? <laughs> I'll regroup and try to make this point better at a later time. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same to hit the torch before and after when you're going from 74 to 99. Was what I was going to try to say. In fact, I even did try to say it. Nice. Got him. Beautiful. Oh. How could this happen to me? Uh, let's do this guy. Oh, I see what you're saying. That makes sense. My favorite part about this is that my Plague Doctor can repair bleeds on himself um, if we're in combat, but we're not. The Occultist has the last laugh. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Can I drop an emerald? I think it's quite likely that we'll end up with something to do with the key. No scouting ping? Is this nonsense? Get grumpy fat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. In radiance, may we find victory. Holy shit. That's so many different types of like fish zombie things. So this has decent stun resist. I'm just gonna blight him and give him the tentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gonna get started on killing this. 
Oh wait, people told me that I can fight that forever. Hmm. Should I trust these people? Or do I really want to? I'm currently like letting this attack me potentially. Nope. Anymore. The wide mouths. Unfortunately, all I see are corpses at this point. I don't know what that means. What does a pro tip mean in this game? Who are the professionals of the darkest dungeon? And how can I aspire to become one myself? Ah, the spear guy. Octocestus. This is the weapon I was talking about, this little, like, semicircle of blade. Because a full circle of blade was just not practical. They tried to make it work. Uh, <laughs> and for whatever reasons, it didn't. Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hmm. Drop a portrait for three deeds, I guess. Didn't bother picking up the holy water. Open the sky. Everything fit. Let's walk back here and I think camp in this room. Just let all oh, my light doesn't actually fade when I'm walking through a tunnel? Corridor? Corridor. Corridor that I've already been in. I don't think you're meant to insult your own mother. I'm not sure that you're doing it right, Grumpy Fat. So we can just let all the light run down now. We've done all of our scouting. Don't need shovels anymore unless we need them for curios. Plus loot. Well, that was underwhelming. It's camp. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. There needs to be more karaoke. Reduce torchlight by 100. That, that doesn't do anything, does it? I have leeches, but nothing to do with them. Alright, I have generally buffed a bunch of different people and now I'm pressing the rest button. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Oh, so if you if you hit that button you end up with zero light at the end of camping? I see. I see what you're saying. That does make a lot of sense. If only treasure could staunch the flow of 
otherworldly corruption. I feel like medium is a, a very nice compromise between short and long. Wish there were a shift from tactical healing to camp healing. Feels very gamey. Most healing is done by prolonging battles. Yep. I feel that too. <laughs> that might be my favorite ability. Except for when finale crits. I think I'd make it so that healing skills weren't really usable in combat, or if they were, they had to be used at some very sharp penalty, but after every single combat, you got like a round to use some sort of healing skill. Or maybe do it so, like, combats only lasted a certain number of rounds, and at the end of them, the monsters ran away and you took stress if you hadn't killed them. But if you did kill the monsters before the timer was up, you got to sit around stress healing for a bit. This expedition at least promises success. Yeah, um, optimal strategies being extremely, like, micromanagey and illogical is a personal pet peeve of mine. We have found a giant oyster. We can give it dog treats and it will buff our dodge. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course we can. That surprises nobody here, I assume. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. You'd have to rebalance the game around it. Yep. Generally, when a game has something massively wrong with it, fixing it requires some some amount of changing the game. Massively wrong might be overstating a little bit, but I think that It is definitely not ideal that healing works the way that it does. Maybe you could have like a permanent versus ablative health and... Let me make sure I'm saying this right. <laughs> Maybe have it so that like each wound dealt permanent, permanent health bar damage, as well as healable health bar damage. So like when my guy got hit right here, he's at 29 out of 46. Maybe he would be at 44 out of 46 healable health, and you're just never able to heal back up above 44 again for the entire mission. Something like that could work.
or healing could be consumable based. So too will resistance. We want to fight here, then walk backwards, turn out the light, and open the pack. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to full heal after every fight. And I don't think it's in keeping with the like general theme of the game. Well struck. Where you have this dungeon and you have limited resources going into it, and then as you get through the dungeon, your decision making changes because you're like running out of a certain type of consumable or something like that. The way that healing is set up instead makes it feel like you are uh, playing fights with a team which is exactly the same over and over again, and you're not having more interesting decision making as the dungeon evolves and like some of your guys are close to death and others are not and what have you. I care about two stress on my occultist. He's got speed four. He has 11 health. I've decided that I do. me please thank you be wary triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall shift control click seems like a pretty good dungeon we will find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. So like I could abuse healing, stress healing, min maxing more than I do. And a lot of these engines would play out a little bit better than they are. Not like a huge amount better than they are, but a little bit better than they are. But I know that as I'm playing this game, the dungeons which are interesting to me are the ones where I'm unable to full heal and full stress heal after fights. That's just... That is just a fact about my enjoyment of the game. It's way more interesting to play a dungeon where my guys are slowly dying and going insane. And the further into the dungeon I get, the tougher the fights become and the closer I get to wanting to leave. And at the beginning of the dungeon, like taking wounds and stress actually matters. And I'm caring about a fight at the beginning because of that and so on. It's just like, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> 